Canadians have a very unique sensibility that we are not the same as the United States. There are, there are, um, there are many bands that have been put out from Canada to, to, uh, to try to succeed in the States. So, Katie Lang, you'd have to think Katie Lang would succeed anywhere. You'd have to think with that amount of talent. Um, the Hip, certainly one of the biggest bands Canada has ever produced. Not, cannot get elected in the States. Bare Naked Ladies, extremely popular in the States. Would they have been the ones you chose as, as the ones that, that yes, this will be the band that will make it? You know, I think that what, what, what it tells us is that, is that part of embracing our own culture was realizing that it was different than other cultures and that it suited us and that we were different. That this whole idea of duality and irony and things being slightly different than, than they might be perceived is something we embrace. We embrace it very naturally. We don't, we don't worry about it. We don't think somebody's trying to pull the wool over our eyes and tell us the gestation period is six months. We, we appreciate it. We, we agree with these things. And I think that something big happened in the, in the 80s. And it was that at least reflected in music that Canadians came to appreciate something that was their own. Was it, was it told their own lives. It, it was also reflected in literature. 